All right, welcome back to another drawing sketch for the Lilith Amara campaign. It's a couple days left, so if you haven't already backed the campaign, be sure to check the link below. Get yourself a book. Uh, you can add on a sketch like the one I'm just about to do here. And uh, let's go ahead and get started with that. And let's see, so this is the third in a series of sketches that I've done for this backer. So we want to do something a little bit different again so he doesn't have a bunch of the same sketch. So I think what we're going to do... I think we're going to do like... Um, let's try something new. We're going to do like a feeder or something. Realize I've never actually drawn a feeder before, so this will be interesting. And so I'm making him a little bit given some room on this side because what I was thinking about doing. Uh, let's first let's just get the pose. Have him crouching or something. All right, so this is going to be the basic shape for the feeder, and then I think what I'm going to do is do a little. This one's going to be mostly all uh, music. <laughs>
now. They're not supposed to be naked or anything, so I need to put them some kind of torn clothes on. are getting there now. Where are we at here? Alright, well we're not doing a... I'm gonna erase on this one, so... I take my time. Alright, so we got Lilith in the background looking upset. You're like, why? You're gonna have to read the story. Spoilers here. All right, so this is ready. This one's looks pretty darn good. So get my specs on. Ink and everything. All right. Everybody loves my exaggerated fake anatomy. A, uh, another review for this comic coming out today so I'm interested in how that's gonna look hopefully they liked it so far most of the reviews have been pretty positive so hopefully this will be the same all right let's give them some drool Right. Who doesn't like a little drool down there, monsters? All right. Let's make his crazy tongue now. I always think it's good to just do everything in layers when you've got so many pieces. We're gonna do more drool here. This guy's vicious.
Okay, so here's an interesting thing about when I created the feeders. All of them have red hair for some reason. I don't know how that ended up being. I think, um, I think when I had one of my artists working on the first book, um, we're looking for like different zombies and stuff that have been in films and stuff as reference of kind of like the, the tone I wanted them to be. And then uh, it just sort of happened. I think one of the references was they had red hair and like blood red eyes, I think was it. And then I was like, okay, so this is what we'll go with. And it just sort of ended up that way. So. I wonder if there's something I should write into the story about that. <laughs> like it's all, I did it on purpose. Okay. This would look really good in color. I hope you enjoy this one. I just realized he's just got like pants on, which makes him kind of look like the Hulk. That's okay. He's kind of got like a werewolf vibe going right now. Go, got the pants over there. So it's good to have smoke and fog. The rest of it's laid right there.
Okay. Where's his other ear? Where'd it go? It's right there. I knew it was there somewhere. Too many details. There's the feeder. Now we're going to do a little Lilith in the background here. No, this is not like a miniature. This is just supposed to be like a little in the background, kind of like a, a silhouette. What am I thinking? Kind of makes Lilith look all like nice here. So yeah, this one's a little bit <laughs> over and above the details and stuff I would normally do for a sketch, but I think it looks pretty cool. This could actually be like a cover. All right. Let's do the, do that and we are set and done. This one will go right in there. Need to erase all these pencil marks, of course. Might as well do it.
So there we go. We got a feeder. We got Lilith in the background. And uh, this kind of gives you a little bit of a glimpse into the story of what's going on here. I just realized there's a bunch of tools over here that's been on the screen the whole time. Oh, well. Uh, you guys, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this. Give this video a like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel, help it grow. And, of course, check out the Little Than Mark campaign. Only a couple days left. Grab yourself a tear. Grab yourself a perk. Get yourself a sketch. And I will see you guys at the next one. Have a good day. Peace. And make sure to check out the Patreon. Just want to thank everybody for watching it all the way to this point. If you can, like, share, subscribe, comment below. We read your comments on Friday. All right, guys, have a good one.